Jira allows you to use email services to create issues and comments. It also allows to send email notifications to users when a particular event happens, such as, for example, transition of an issue, one status to another. In this tutorial, we're going to configure an email service to make it possible. So let's get started. So let's configure first our incoming mail server. So I'm just pressing GG on my keyboard and writing here incoming mail and select incoming mail and it will bring you to the administration page where you can find the button to add your mail server. Just click on it and it will bring you to a new page that will ask you to provide some information necessary to create a new mail service. So the first field called name asks you to specify some short and between name to identify your mail server configuration. And as an option, you can write here, for example, the email address that you're going to use for this mail configuration. So I'm gonna do that. And just notify me here, go at gmail.com. Second field is description. And this is where you write the description for the mail service configuration. For example, what it is being used for. So let's write the configuration used for Sala project. The next field is service providers that allows you to choose between using your own mail server. And in this case, you need to leave it as this custom. Or if you're using like me as some Gmail service, and you can choose one uh, or Gmail with the protocol POP3 or IMAP, depending on what you want to use. Or if you're using Yahoo Mail Plus, you should select this field. So I'm going to use Google uh, with IMAP protocol. And as you see, if I'm choosing like our email or Yahoo, the list of fields is much shorter that you need to fill in. So it's very uh, convenient, but let's go uh, through the fields that you need to fill in if you are not using Gmail or Yahoo and if you're using your custom service provider. In this case, you have more fields as I said and the uh, fields that you need to fill in. First is like protocol. So you can choose between whether you're using POP or IMAP mail server as a standard or secure pop, secure IMAP. And uh, the next one is the host name. So this is where you specify the host name or IP address of your mail server. As you can see here as an example, like plus pop mail, Yahoo. Then you need to specify pop IMAP port. So afterwards you can set a timeout and a timeout is an optional field, so where you can specify the timeout, which is specified in milliseconds. So at the moment, it is like 10,000 milliseconds, which is a default value. And if you specify zero or a negative value here, it will make Jira waiting indefinitely for the server to respond. So do, if you want to do it, you should be precautious. And of course, use the name and password of your email server to make Jira able to log in with these credentials in your mail server. So as I said, I'm going to use this email address, which is Gmail. So I'm just going to choose the Google Apps Mail, Gmail IMAP. And here I'm going to write my credentials. And when you're done, you can click this button, Test Connection to make sure that the connection is, could be established between Jira and uh, your mail server. And if you, everything, you have specified everything correct, it will provide a follow-up message like the connection was successful. And if you could reach that, you should just click the Add button and save this configuration. Let's configure outgoing emails now. Let's scroll down uh, the page where we're at now and find this mail section on the left bar menu and click on the outgoing mail link. 
It will bring us to a page with the configure new SMTP mail server button, which we need to click to get to the page where we can actually add our SMTP mail server. And as you can see here, we need to fill in a form. So let's go one by one through all the fields that are being asked by Jira to be filled in order to be able to add SMTP mail server. On the first one, as in the previous form, is the name of the configuration. It can be everything you like. And I advise you to use the email which you are going to use for this configuration. I'm going to use the same email as in the incoming emails, but since the names should be unique of the configurations, we can add here like out suffix so we can distinguish between the incoming outgoing email services. In the description we need to provide the description of the configuration, let's leave it the same as in the previous project, from address and this is where you specify the email address which is being used in the sender address of from field of uh, the notifications used by Jira. This field could be overridden in the project configurations, but by default, Jira used just uh, this from address uh, field here from the configurations. Email prefix is the next field, and this is where you specify the subject of emails sent from the server and so it is useful to give some information here because your users might want to filter the Jira notifications and for example bulk delete them or for any other reasons. So here you just provide some string to identify that these messages are coming from Jira and we can write here, yes, Jira, to set it as email prefix. And now we can move to the second part of the configuration of your SMTP mail server. And um, there are actually two ways how you can configure your SMTP mail server. Either you can specify the SMTP host details right here, or you can specify the JNDI location of a Java X mail session object. And basically this is when you want to use JNDI to look up the mail server for you, which is already pre-configured in your application. And it has a few advantages, such as it provides much better security, because the email details are not being available to your administrators through the interface and they are not being stored in backup files. There are also more different SMTP configuration options and also mail details are configured in the same place. So it allows to centralize the management of the configurations. But for now, I think it's enough just to configure your host details. So we are going to use the first option and let's have a look on all the fields that we need to fill in here. So the first one is a server provider. And again, we can use between our custom, our own mail server. If you're using Gmail or Yahoo, you can choose one of these and then your configuration will become much easier. But let's go back to custom to have a look what fields you need to configure in case you are using some of your own SMTP mail server. So this is a protocol. Again, you can distinguish between SMTP or secure SMTP, host name or IP address of your mail server. Like here you have an example of smtpgmail.com. Here you provide the ports that you want to use, timeout. And again, if you specify zero and negative value, Jira will wait indefinitely for the SMTP server to respond. So have this in mind. TLS is uh, if your server use the transport layer security, so TLS protocol, you should mention it here and click on this checkbox. And of course, you need to provide the credentials of your mail server that could be used 
to walk in into your mail cell. So it should be clear. And as I said, we are going to use for this tutorial a Gmail account, which makes things much easier. All you need to enter is just timeout and the credentials, and that's it. And you can test your connection to see if you have done everything right. And if you did, you'll get this green message. The connection was successful. And just click on add button to save the changes. Oh, I get an error here. For some reason, browser probably has changed some configurations. Strange, but we can live with this. Set them back. Text connection again to be sure. And everything is right. And oh my god, my browser continues to annoy me. Okay, from here out and just add it. All right, and we have just created an outgoing mail service in Jira. So we can move to our second part of this tutorial where we're going to have a look at how we can use mail handlers and email notification. In this tutorial, we have learned how we can configure incoming and outgoing email services.